At the time of Atlantis's launch 56 minutes ago from the Kennedy Space Center, the International Space Station was traveling 220 miles above the South Pacific Ocean, east of New Zealand. The crew on board the International Space Station had an opportunity uh, to gather around uh, one of their laptop computers and watch a video uplink of the launch. Uh, Jeff Williams, uh, who soon will become the Expedition 22 commander following the departure of Roman Romanenko Frank DeWinna, who's the current station commander from the European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency astronaut Bob Thirsk. Williams, uh, DeWinna on the right, and Nicole Stott uh, took time out uh, to watch the launch and the climb of Stott's ride home, the shuttle Atlantis, uh, from the Kennedy Space Center to orbit. This is a playback, obviously, of them watching that launch as it was uplinked uh, from the International Space Station Flight Control Room under the control of Flight Director Derek Hossman. And here comes the uh, SM uh, 201. Nicole Stott uh, arrived at the International Space Station in late summer on the STS-128 mission, and again, uh, she will be coming home as a uh, shuttle mission specialist on STS-129, actually converting from her role as an Expedition 21 flight engineer to that of an Atlantis mission specialist at the time of hatch opening. This is the last use of the shuttle for a space station crew rotation activity, in this case not a rotation, rather a depletion of the crew from six crew members to five crew members. The uh, current launch schedule uh, calls uh, for the next launch of a station crew on a Russian Soyuz vehicle to occur December 21st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. That will be an augmenting flight to supplement Jeff Williams and Russian cosmonaut Max Sereyev, who will be a two-man crew for a three-week period during what is called the indirect crew handover time frame, the first uh, such indirect crew handover uh, coming up uh, following the departure of Nicole Stott and the subsequent landing of Duena, Romanenko, and Thursk in their Soyuz vehicle with their landing in the TMA-15 spacecraft scheduled for December 1st. Back here in the uh, shuttle flight control room, Flight Director Brian Lunny, uh, company